Hello and welcome to a short video on how to use one of our digitised family history resources, the intimations from the local press. So just while I explain about this, I'll play a slideshow of some old photos of the local area from our photograph collection. And for anyone interested in these, I'll list them in the description for this video. Intimations are the birth, marriage and death notices placed in the local press by family members of the individuals concerned. So these are a great addition to the statutory records of births, marriages and deaths that you can find in the Scotland's People and Ancestry websites and they can often give you further information on the person that you are researching. So if you're researching someone that lived in the local area, this resource is going to be a great addition to your research. And we have these intimations from the Green Telegraph, Green Advertiser and other local newspapers from 1800 to 1918 digitised on our website. So I'll now show you how to find those. So we'll start from a Google search. I'm using the Safari browser on an Apple device. And we're just going to search in Google for what institution. Once you've done that, you select the first option here, and that takes you to the what institution page on the Inverclyde Council website. Now to find the intimations, you have to go into what library. And from the what library page, select family history and you'll see the intimations on the right-hand side here. So we'll just click on that. That takes us to the intimations page, which gives you a brief description of the resource and tells you about its copyright licence as well. Now, to see the intimation files, they are on the right-hand side, and they are listed under Documents, and you'll see that they are saved as PDF files, and they're broken down into years there. So if we are wanting to look at the first one here, we'll look at 1800 to 1825. We'll open that and that gives you the intimations file there. And it tells you the type of record, when it was posted into the paper, the surname for the person concerned and the entry that was placed into the paper as well. So you'll notice that these aren't in alphabetical order but they are searchable. So I would recommend using the Safari browser if you're using an Apple device and using the Chrome browser if you're on an Android device because you can use the built-in find on page feature in those browsers. So as I'm on an Apple device, I'm using Safari browser and to use the, the find on page feature, you use the share button at the top of the browser, which is the square with the arrow pointing up the way. So we'll click that, click find on page and you can then search for a surname a street name, anything you want, a particular profession, anything at all. So once you've typed it in, you'll see I've previously searched for Smiths. So we'll search for that again, just using the blue return key. And that highlights in yellow the word Smith in all of the notices posted. And you move through these by using the arrows at the bottom. That just takes you to the next one with Smith, the next one again. And you just move through there and you can see that it's found 21 returns for that search term. So that is how you search for a particular year by a surname. If you would find it easier, you can search alphabetically by surname because we have listed these as a surname index as well. So we're going to go back a stage, back to the intimations webpage. And you'll see under related links on the right, you've got intimation surname index. And then if we move down here, you'll see under documents, you have surnames for A, surnames for B. So we'll click on that. That again gives you the type of record, the surname, when it was posted in the paper, and it tells you the entry. And again, you can search these using the find on page feature in your browser as well. The other thing that's handy about both of these resources is if you're going to be researching without an internet connection, you can download these to your device while you have a connection and use them offline as well. Now, if you have any questions about this resource or any of our other family history resources here at the Watt Institution, you can always get in touch with us and please don't hesitate to give us a call on 01475 715628 or by dropping us an email at whatinstitution at inverclyde.gov.uk and we'll be more than happy to help. Thanks very much for watching.